Hi everyone, it's Monica with TaylorMade Cards for You. I'm just popping in quickly tonight to share with you this memory album that I made using the uh, St. Nicholas collection for Graphic 45. This is a project I've been working on for a while. And as you can see, there's a lot of detail and work that goes into an album like this. So what I wanted to do today is just basically do a share and show you what I did. And then in January, I plan on doing a full tutorial uh, because I plan on replicating this again in a Valentine's Day book. A lot of times before I come on and do a video, I like to go through the process of creating whatever I'm going to share with you. And um, I wanted to do a run through before I actually taped putting this together. The spine measures about a quarter of an inch. And the reason I did create it this way is so I could house lots of embellishments inside um, as I'll be showing you in just a minute. I did embellish the outside with a nice flower and a tag from Tim Holtz collection, which is the Believe. Um, I didn't embellish the outside too much because I wanted to keep it somewhat simple. Now this book is intended uh, as a photo album so you can house some of your memories um, for Christmas. So there's lots of white space to be able to put your photos inside. Um, but I did decorate it up using uh, lots of Graphic 45 embellishments, stickers, chipboards, and uh, fun paper stacks. I did create a belly band as you can see right in the middle and that lets you slip in a photo if you'd like to. And I do typically um, try to match the left and the right side as you'll see uh, when I flip through this album. I have a couple of little inserts on each side where you can put a tag or something fun. And then when you open it up I did create a little spot where you can journal inside of it. I added some fun lace along with some washi tape. And where the white space is, like I said, you can either add some photos or you can write a little sentiment, uh, maybe a little remembrance of Christmas Day. Of course, the Christmas book wouldn't be complete without Santa. So I did put a nice big Santa right there on the right hand side of the book. Now the book folds up really fun. Um, I kind of showed it from the top version right now, um, but it folds up really fun. Um, and creates a nice little, uh, I guess, puzzle, I guess, when you're actually going through it. You never know what you're going to find. Um, on the inside of the flaps, again, I have some nice tags where you can journal little notes. Um, also adding pictures as well. The finished album does measure six by six inches. And um, it is pretty sturdy. As you can see, I did mat the Graphic 45 paper onto black cardstock, and then I matted it onto some red cardstock as well to uh, create the book. So there is three layers of cardstock going on here, um, but because I did not use um, chipboard, I wanted to make sure that it was going to hold up nicely and keep its shape. Um, the flaps fold over really nicely. And because I do have that quarter inch uh, binder, there is lots of room to uh, make room to fold over for those embellishments. So even if you were to add uh, another layer of photos, I still think it would hold up pretty nicely. All right, so that does it for my share tonight. Uh, hopefully you've liked my little Christmas memory book. Um, like I said, I will be back next month to walk through the process of putting a book together like this. But if you do want to check out my blog, I do have a write-up for those of you that are uh, creative and want to jump out on your own and give it a try. All right, everybody. I appreciate you stopping by. And as always, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I will leave a list of all the products that I've used along with the links to the stores. And as always, everyone, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again next time.